How to detect keyboard events and also keyboard combinations in Flutter. Simply go to your scaffold widget and here around you represent this raw keyboard listener. And inside of it, you need to supply then mandatory here these two fields and you need to set the autofocus to true so that we can listen to some keyboard events. And lastly, you can implement here the on key property where we get then every time the keyboard event. Inside of this callback, you can then simply detect which key was pressed. So you can define here a logical keyboard key. Choose then also the key on which you want to listen to. So in my case, it's the enter key. And inside of this condition, you can then put anything inside what should happen if you press on the enter key. After this, go inside of your browser and type then the enter key. And then you see that within our console, this enter pressed is displayed, what we have here put inside as our condition. However, if you long press on the enter key, then you see that our condition gets here executed multiple times. And this is maybe something which you want to prevent. To prevent this is pretty simple. So you can also check here if this event is a key down event, which means you press down your key. And similarly to this, you also can later check if you release again the key. In case we press our key down, then we also want to add our key to a list. And therefore I have added here at the top a list of logical keyboard keys. And here inside we put then our key inside on which we have pressed. And to get this key on which we have pressed, you can simply call here event logical key. And this is then the key on which we have pressed. And now we can try it out. So I press simply enter and you see also here a visual representation of all the keys that I have pressed. So I basically display here this keys list within my UI. And as you can see, if I type here multiple letters, then all of these keys are added to this list. And lastly, we want to remove again the keys from our list in case we release our key. And therefore we go here into the else case. And here we go every time inside if we have released our key again. And if we have released our key, then we want to remove our key again from our keys list. All right. And now if I press here this enter key, then you see it is also displayed in the UI as long as I press on this enter key. And if I release it, then we display here again none because our key was again removed from this list. One issue that we have still here is if I press long time on enter, then you see we have here a lot of enters within our list added. And this is because he is still going here inside multiple times. And then he is also adding our keys multiple times. And therefore we also want to check here if our key is already contained within our keys list, then we don't want to execute here this logic below and we don't want to add then our key again to our keys list. And with this condition, we make then sure that our key is only added once to this keys list. All right, now let's also try it out. So I long press here on enter and you see we have the enter key only here one time inside. And now I keep pressing on the enter key and I press then on the second key. And you see we have then both of these keys in our list and I can also take another one. And now I release the enter key and you see we have still the other keys inside because I still press on these keys. Let's also look into the console. So I long press here on the enter key and you see that it is only then printed here once even if I long press on the enter key. And if I release this enter key, it is still only printed here once. And if I press again on the enter key, then you see that he prints it again to the console. And this is an expected behavior because we have pressed again new on the enter key. With the help of the keys list, we can also detect easily keyboard combinations. Therefore, I can check here first of all if our keys list contains here, for example, this control key. And then I can also add here another key. And then I check if the keys list also contains here another key, for example, this key C. And if both of these keys were pressed, then you can basically add here some functionality. Let's also try it now out. So I press here control and then I click C. And then you see within the console that we have control C pressed. And again, about this logical keyboard key, you can choose here then any key. So you can type key and then you can choose here any key like A, B, C, D, E. You also can write here digit and then you can choose any number on which you want to listen. You can also listen on shift and on escape. And you can also simply check here out all the different keys on which you can listen to. 
And by the way, if you want to get here this whole example of this application, then you can get it with the first link in the description. And with the second link, you can get access to my Flutter courses, where I teach you how you can become a better and more efficient developer. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.